So tonight, I, it's a Tuesday night, I just got home from work, I'm going to cook Cornish Game Hens in the Instant Pot and this is very easy and it's going to be delicious. So I have Cornish Game Hens that I bought fresh the other day at Trader Joe's. I hadn't seen those at Trader Joe's before. I um, took the giblets out of the little cavities and patted these dry. Um, I threw the giblets away. I don't have really any use for them. And then to get these ready to go in, I just cut up a, an onion and I'm going to stuff that into the cavity of each one of these. Okay, to give it some flavor. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to squeeze some lemon into a little dish of um, chopped up garlic. I chopped up two cloves of garlic into this dish. Okay, wipe my hands and pour some olive oil into this and then I'm going to brush that on these hens. So I'm going to brush each of these generously with a little bit of lemon and olive oil and I'll throw the garlic in. I may just pour this all in when I get put these in the put some of that garlic on there make sure it's all over there. Yummy! Okay and then I chopped up a little bit of fresh rosemary and I'm just going to throw that on the chickens. Now I'm going to put these just nestle them in the Instant Pot, kind of on their sides. Two will fit in the pot. Whoops, you lost your onions, buddy. All right. Okay, so two fit, fit in the pot pretty nicely. Squeeze a little more lemon on those. Okay, and I have a little bit more rosemary and I'm gonna throw that into those cavities as well. It's just these will smell so good and they'll be very flavorful. Okay, so you saw how easy that was. I have about a half a cup of water that I'm putting into the Instant Pot and I'm going to also add, uh, there we go, throwing some wine in there. Okay, so then I'm going to put my Instant Pot on, my, making sure my ring is in place. I always check for that, make sure it's secure. Throw that on there, plug in my Instant Pot. Make sure the valve is pointing to sealing, not venting. And I'm going to set this to um, high to cook for 20 minutes. And if you have a, a pressure cooker that doesn't have a high button, but then you set that to manual for 20 minutes, and then we'll just let that go. So while the uh, Cornish game hens are in the Instant Pot, what I've done here is I've chopped up a couple of sweet potatoes into big chunks, um, put olive oil on them, and, an, and brushed a little olive oil on this foil pan, and then I put a little bit of um, Creole seasoning on there. A friend of mine did that the other night when we were over at her house. It was delicious. So we're going to have this. I'm popping that in and at 400 degrees, and those should cook, be cooked by the time the Cornish game hens are done. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and it's done uh, pressure cooking. I'm going to do an instant release on this. Ooh. Kitchen smells like rosemary and lemon. It smells really good. I wanted to say <laughs> that I wasn't really using my best kitchen sanitary practices. And so it's important for me to, I took a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer and wiped my wine bottle, made sure my hands are clean, put my dirty towels. I think when you're cooking with poultry, you do have to be extra careful about not contaminating your kitchen. So um, I should have done a better job with that. Okay, so this is going to be ready to come out of here in just a minute. This smells really good. Okay, so the little valve popped down, all the steam vented out. This is now ready to open and have a look at. Those are really pretty. Have a look in there and see how pretty those little chickens are. The little Cornish game hens. Now what I'm going to do, you don't have to do this. Those are ready to eat now, but I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet that I've lined with some foil. 
and I'm going to just put those under the broiler for a few minutes, just a couple minutes to get them nice and browned on the top before we eat. And I'll check on my, I think that my, um, my potatoes are ready to go. So I will be putting those in the broiler in just a minute. Thought it would be a good idea to check before I put these under the broiler to make sure that they are plenty cooked. And they are, you want, to, you want them at 165, and these are well over that. They're a, a pushing 180. So we're good. Now, I'm going to take this, these hens and put them under my preheated broiler just for a few minutes. I don't want them too close, but I just want to get them browned up a little bit. Okay, so these have been under the broiler for maybe five minutes. And they look just really nice and kind of bubbly. I'm going to leave them under there for about a minute more. Okay, I'm going to pull these out of the oven and turn that off. They smell really good. They were only in the oven for a few minutes. They're very pretty. Look at how pretty those are. I'm going to put these on my tray. I did one up and one down with my... with my sweet potatoes and some green beans. Those look beautiful. Put a little parsley on there and a little bit more lemon. And um, this is really pretty that way, but now I'm gonna ruin it because I need to take a bite and see if it tastes good. So I'm just gonna take one little bite. Look how pretty that is. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. It's really moist. That's great. I can't wait to eat. It's very good. And it took almost no time. It took about a half an hour to cook these Cornish game hens for supper. So, enjoy your Instant Pot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel. Hit like if you liked it. Most of all, enjoy cooking with your Instant Pot. Thanks.